Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to focus on graphical work. We are told uh, to complete the table below for the function y equals to negative x squared minus x plus 6. Then we have the table there for values of x ranging between negative 4 and positive 3. So let us start by filling the table. We start by substituting negative 4 as the value of x in the main function here. Therefore, when you substitute negative 4, the value is already negative 6. That is provided by the examiner. So now we go to negative 3. So you have to feed in the calculator. Just as the function is, you substitute exactly so, such that you begin typing in your calculator negative, then you open brackets, you fix negative 3, then you square minus negative 3, then you add a 6, and this is exactly going to give us 0. Then you do the same for the other values. At negative 2, we get 4. At negative 1, we get 6. At 0, we we'll get 6. At 1, the value is already fed. It's a positive 4. At positive 2, we get y equals to 0. At 3, we get a negative 6, which is already on the table. So the next thing now, we go to part B, where we are told on the grid provided, draw the graph of y equals to negative x squared minus x plus 6 for x ranging between negative 4 and a positive 3. Use the scale. 2 centimeters represents 1 unit on the x axis, and 1 centimeter represents 1 unit on the y axis. So I've already come up with the Cartesian plane. Yeah, the Cartesian plane is already here. We can see the scale of one centimeter representing one unit for the vertical axis. Then on the x-axis, two centimeters, one unit. So this is the Cartesian plane that is required. Now we go into the plotting of our coordinates. At negative four, we have x and y being negative 6. So negative 4, negative 6, negative 4 is here, negative 6 is here. So the two will coincide at this coordinate. That is negative 4, negative 6. Then we go to negative 3, 0. Negative 3, 0 is a coordinate on that axis. We also have negative 2, positive 4. So at negative 2, we have a positive 4. Negative 2, positive 4. Then a negative 1, positive 6. Negative 1, positive 6. The next is 0, positive 6. So this is the point. The next is positive 1, positive 4. The coordinate is at this point. Then at 2, we have 0. So we have 2, 0. So this is the coordinate, 2, 0. Then finally, we have 3, negative 6. 3, negative 6 is a coordinate at this point. 3, negative 6. So now we have the Cartesian plan now. We have already plotted our points. So what we need now is to come up with the curve. So let me use a different ink for the curve. Yeah, so let me let me join now to come up with a curve should be able to see all my coordinates remember a curve is supposed to be smooth a curve is supposed to be continuous remember you should subscribe to this channel and also to share the link with to share the link with friends
So at the turning point now, as you can see, we have two points at the topmost in this scale. Therefore, it means the turning point is exactly in between the two. So you don't turn in any of them. You pass a little bit, then now you turn. Now you turn. So now I'm having my curve here. This is the curve. I want to name it. This is the curve y equals to negative x squared minus x plus 6. So this is the curve now. Now that we got the curve here, we can proceed to read other questions thereafter. The other questions go part C. Roman 1, use the graph to solve the equation. We have a negative x squared minus x plus 6. So the first thing you do when you're given a quadratic equation to solve using a quadratic graph, you take the plotted function, which is y equals to negative x squared minus x positive 6. Then you subtract all the corresponding values in the provided function here now negative x squared minus x positive 6 so now you subtract these two functions when you subtract downwards you discover y minus 0 is y and all the other corresponding values subtracted you get a 0 on this side therefore now we have to consider where the graph is cutting line y equals to 0 mark you line y equals to 0 is the x axis so where this graph cuts the x axis becomes the solution to the equation here so the solution to this equation will be first x being positive 3 and the sorry uh negative 3 according to the graph this is the value where the graph is cutting the x-axis and the other x is now a positive 2 so that is where the graph should cut the x-axis and it becomes the solution for the given equation. Lastly, we have again by drawing a suitable line on the graph, solve the equation for. We have another equation here. So again, we have the plotted function. Then now we subtract the equation that we have. the equation that we have so now we subtract downwards again every corresponding value y minus zero we get y negative x squared minus negative x this becomes a zero negative x minus negative 2x so we get negative x minus negative 2 means plus 2 so we we'll get x then 6 minus 4 this will give us 2 therefore we're going to draw now a suitable line whose equation is here now so with a line y equals to x plus 2, you just need a table of values for x and for y. So what we're going to have here is a, we can consider values like 0, values like at 1, values like 2. So when x is 0, y is going to be 2 because we're just adding 2. Then when x is 1, we add 2, so the value of y becomes 3. When x is 2, we add 2. So the value becomes a 4. So we now need to draw a suitable line whereby we have a table of values for that line. It's 0, 2. So 0, 2, this is one of the coordinates. 0, 2. Then we also have 1, 3. So 1, 3. This is the coordinate. We are also having a 2, 4. So 2, 4. That is a, the line again.
Yeah, so we have a, a graph like that. We can also consider another coordinate on the left hand side of this function, whereby we can go to x being a value like a negative. Let's consider negative, even negative three. So when we take negative three and we add two, we get negative one. So the coordinate is negative three, negative one. So negative three, negative one is a value at this point. Now we got four coordinates where the graph passes. Where the graph passes. Uh, sorry, there is a coordinate here which is not well fitted. Remember the coordinate should be two, uh, two, four. So two, four is at this point. Let me pick a different ink for my line and prefer green. Yeah, so the line now is going to pass through these coordinates. So I'm going to draw my line. Yes, that is the straight line. The straight line y equals two x plus two. That is the straight line. Now for us to solve the equation, then we need we need to have a, the values of x where this line is cutting the graph. And we have a the first point here. So I just need to identify the coordinate. Then I read the value of x. So the value of x is going to be negative 3.3. The first x is negative 3.3. So x1, negative 3.3. And we go to the other side. We see where the line is again cutting the graph. So the line and the graph are intersecting at this point. Now we read the value here. It is positive 1.2. X equals to 1.2. So these are the two values of X. And for the other line, we have these values of X. Thank you so much for following. Subscribe and share.